we have been talking for years, and not just to Lori Deer, but through many, many, many other channels around the world, that the time is coming, the time is coming when one would feel chaos, when systems would fall. This is that time. This is critical to our path, to our ascension path as a collective, that you understand that now it is your job to maintain your inner peace, to maintain your inner calm. If you know that there are those energies that are wishing to use what's happening to attack your inner self, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Hello, Lori, dear. We are very thankful to be with you and Lucas and your audience at this time. We see that there is much tumultuous emotion at this time on Mother Earth. There is a large amount of energy that is happening astrologically, we could say, at this time. And this energy is going to stay for the next couple of days. And this energy energy may indeed amp up a little bit in the next couple of days. There are things not only happening in the United States, there are things happening all over the world for this energy is not just happening in the United States, it is happening all over the world. So although there is a lot of information that's coming across the airwaves about the United States, there is there are many things happening around the earth that are carrying the same signature, we could say, the same signature of energy that is happening. It is important for all of us to know that although the energy will be amped up for the next coming days, this energy will indeed pass. There will be a break in the energy. The energy will then smooth out some. The energy will then move on out. The front will leave new information will come in, new energy will come in. Now, in this time when the energy is here, that can be a little challenging, a little difficult. It is important to remember that what you are seeing outside of yourselves in the outside world is not what needs to be happening in your interior world. Although there is a mere effect from the outside world, to your inner world, it doesn't have to be exactly, exactly synonymous. So what we're saying is there can be things happening outside in the outside of yourselves in the outside world. And yet the inside, the inside where your heart is, where your feelings are, where your mind is, can be altered, we would say. What we mean is that you can indeed do things to create a sense of calm within yourselves, to create a sense of comfort, a sense of peace, even even a sense of joy when there are things that are happening on the outside of you, in the outside world, especially in the media, especially in the airwaves, when there are things that are happening outside of you, it does not mean you have to carry that same energy. We do not want you to put yourselves in a darkened box and not know what is happening outside of you. It is important to know what is happening outside of you to a certain degree. However, that information that is happening does not need to be repeated and repeated and repeated before your eyes, before your ears, before your heart. We don't need the same information to be constantly bombarding you. For what you are seeing and hearing will then come within you. So what we are saying is, know what is happening outside of yourselves, but try and just turn down the volume some. Find some time to have some peace, create some peace. And we say create, very specifically, for you have a lot that you can do on your own to create peace. You don't have to be in stress or the chaotic environment that is outside of you. You don't have to allow yourselves to be in that environment so then you feel that in, the in, in your inside. 
it is important for you to know you have a lot more power than you think you do. When you find a place where you can be quiet and you can close your eyes and you can just listen to what you hear within yourself, when you can quiet things down, when you can dim down the chaos, all that is your choice and your action. And it will be incredible to think of how that will affect you. You have more power than you think over your peace of mind, over your happiness, over your joy. You can create these things. And although we know in the United States right now, there is a lot going on and seemingly there's a lot to know. We would challenge that notion and say that although there is a lot going on in the United States, there is not as much to know as one might think. One can gain a lot of information, let's say within 20 minutes, half hour or an hour max, and then have enough information for that day and for many coming days. We know things are changing. We could say changing rapidly, and we could say that many of you would like to be involved in that change, that rapid change that is happening outside of yourselves. We would say, take little sips of it little tiny sips so that you can maintain a place of peace within yourself. If you find that you are losing that peace and you are feeling rather chaotic or unhappy or depressed or a lot of confusion, we would say that is the time to leave the outside airwaves, leave them behind and find the peace within yourself. We are saying you have more control over how you feel than you think. And we would say that even though things are happening outside of yourself that are difficult, it does not mean you need to feel that difficulty inside of yourself. You can hold this space simultaneously. You can know that things are happening outside of you that are challenging and difficult, and you can also maintain peace within yourself. However, there are some parameters that need to happen in order for you to feel this peace. One is lessening the amount of time you are spending listening to other people talk, whether it's airwaves, whether it's the media, whether it's social media, whether it's your neighbors, whether it's your family, all talking about certain things. And they're talking and they're loving to hear themselves talk and they're repeating and repeating and repeating. We would say that can be difficult for your human body, your nervous system to sort through. So we would say, take time to yourself. Go do things you like. Try not to think about things so much. We have been talking for years, and not just to Lori Deer, but through many, many, many other channels around the world, that the time is coming, the time is coming when one would feel chaos, when systems would fall. This is that time. This is that time. This is not an easy time, but it is a necessary time. We want to say to you, we want to use the term, the phrase, put on your big boy pants or big girl pants. And we say that in love, but we want you to understand this is the time to behave in the way we've been talking to you about for many years. We've been saying that take, to take care of yourself, to lessen what you hear outside of yourself, to spend time in meditative practices, to spend time in body movement. We've been telling you all these things and we would say now is the time to do those. Now we know we might sound a little bit strong at the moment, a little bit assertive at the moment, but we would say we are saying this to you in love and we want to jog you out of the process, the place, the idea that you have to feel bad because what outside of you is bad. This is not true. This is not true. You can have things outside of you that feel bad, that are chaotic, that seem are seemingly crazy, that are falling apart, that are falling down, that are just, you just can't believe what's happening. You can't get your mind around what's happening out here. That does not mean you have to feel the same way inside. This is critical to our path to our ascension path as a collective, that you understand that now it is your job to maintain your inner peace, to maintain your inner calm. This is the time to begin to understand that the time is now, it is not tomorrow. 
The time is now. We've been talking to you for years about things coming, things coming, how we can prepare you for the future, how we can be prepare you for what is coming. We want to tell you that this time is now, it is here. Things are falling apart. Things are looking crazy. Things are looking maddening. Things are just looking loopy. Things are just unbelievable outside of yourselves. But we are here to say that inside of yourself, it is still the same. What you have cultivated inside of yourself for the last many years is still there, is accessible. It is not falling apart. It is not falling down. It is alive and well. It is with you. And we would say we are with you. We are sending you energy. We are sending you much love. We want you to understand that you have more power and more control than you think you do in your lives, in your daily mundane lives, you have more control than you think you might have. And the outside world, these outside systems have less, way less control than you think they might have. They have less control over you than you think they might have. We would like to say there are so many things that do not matter in the outside world. There are so many things that do not matter. We want to get you away from the anxiety, the drama, the heightened emotion, and we want you to reconnect with your inner technology, that which was made, custom made for you and your soul and your spirit to live within and not only to live, but thrive within. Your body and all of its parts, all of the bodies you have, ethereal bodies, all of your being here on Mother Earth at this time is inside of this beautiful piece of technology. And because you have this piece of technology, you, your inner self, your inner spirit does not need to freak out right now because you have this technology, your bodies. You have so many things that are happening within your body that are helping you, that are protecting you, that allow you to sustain your energy, that allow you to su sustain your mind, your thoughts, your sovereignty. You are sovereign. If you know that there are those energies that are wishing to use what's happening to attack your inner self. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to allow that? Are you going to stand up for yourself? Are you going to maintain your peace and your calm at any cost? Are you going to allow your sovereignty, sovereignty, sovereignty to shine? Are you going to allow yourself to be that which you can be, to be that which you are? You are magnificent. You are magnificent. There is nothing we would do to change who you are. There is nothing we would do to change who you are. We love you just as you are. We see you as we are. And we see all that you are doing and able to do and all the power that you have. Simply because your spirit, your inner self is inside this vehicle, this technology that you were born with. And even though you could say, oh, this technology, is this my body, it has run down, it is not doing well, blah, 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 blah. We would say, nope. Nope, 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 nope. If you are here listening to this video, your technology is working very well. You are able to hear this video. You may be able to see the video. Regardless of hearing or seeing, if you have access to the video, you have access to what we are saying. You have access to this place within your heart, within your mind, that allows you to find calm that allows you to say, okay, I see what's happening. That's all right. I can still do this, this, and this in my life. I can cultivate my own life, 
my own environment internally and externally. I can cultivate that which I want. You can cultivate. Let others do what they're going to do. You cultivate. Let other things fall around you. You cultivate your own garden, your own place, your own inner self has the ability to deal with what's happening right now. Your inner self is strong. We are saying to this to all of you because we see many of you within the Awakened Collective to some degree faltering and wondering if everything is just going to stop, fall apart, die, not happen, if your faith is just going to crumble, if all is going to crumble because all this out here is seemingly crumbling and it is crumbling. We are acknowledging that, but just acknowledge it, see it. You can talk about it, of course, but just don't let it take over your lives, take over your mind space, your heart space. Allow it to be something that's happening and yet simultaneously, you can still cultivate that which you want inside of yourself and you can cultivate that which you want outside of yourself. We send you all great love. Those of you that are living, living in the United States and those of you that are living around the world, we send you such great love. We are the Acturians, the Palladians, the Council of Nine and the Council of Light. And we send you much love and much light. We send you a sound heart and a sound mind. We want to shine a light on your sovereignty. I do want to do. All right. Well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm.